Hello one and all ladies and gentlemen. Not children though. I'm not biased but there might be a few swearers later on in the video and it's a brand new day so that can only mean it's a new adventure. Oh, and I'm just walking 10 miles, I think it's about 10 miles just before we even get to the location. It's going to be a hell of a long day. Uh, I've been up quite early so let's get on with the video. Look, we're here. Oh, my tackle is so sweaty. But how did we get here? Which is a question I usually ask myself when I'm surrounded by strippers and spearmint rhino. But let me just show you how I got to be here. Mooning, everyone. Get it, mooning? Carry on eating, I've come to observe you munching. You look a bit unhappy. Hello mate. Nice uh, eyebrows. They're all coming. Oh no. They're gonna attack. <gasps> I don't know what it is. Is it a badger or something? Poor bastard. That's the first, uh, oh, we can't leave him in the road to get squashed. There he is, look, I've moved him to the side of the road. Oh, hope you find peace. What is that horse doing? What are you doing? You stupid idiot. Hey! There's dreadlocks trying to be cool. Is you probably got lots of questions like how much is the rent? Does it have central heating? All those questions will never be answered, but I'll probably find some. But I will find out everything I can about this, and you'll be seeing facts popping up on the screen all over the shop. Has it got a door? Does it have a door? Oh, there is a door. What does it say? What does that say? Please help us to look after this 14th century with a donation in the box. Is anybody here? Hello? Ow. Oh, the door's a bit stiff. I can't get through that. Oh, Jesus. Wow. I'm not going up that ladder. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, so cool in here. Cool as in cool and as in cool. He wants me to climb up there. Oh, give me a minute then and I will. Just for you. If I break my neck, I'm suing all of you. Oh, wow, look at this. I'm not climbing up there, you can sod off. That's a long way down. Oh, and it's quite scary. There's not a lot of room up here, and there's bird shit everywhere. Oh, God, I've got to get back down there. Oh, I'm terrified. Why do I do these things? So then we have the dove cot. Oh, that was scary. I'm alive, my hands feel dirty though from all the bird poop. I really should carry wipes with me. Oh. Anyway, that's just the first stop. We're now headed to Orcester to see what the Romans got up to while they were there. Oh, we're here, look. There we go, look. Oh. 
the winner of Britain in Bloom. No year on it though, it's probably like 96 or something. Reliving the glory days, like so many of us. Oh, let's go and find some Romans. Well, isn't this nice? Only little old shops. Oh, we finally made it. The place is over there, look. God, I hope it's open. That's it. Because that's nine miles of my life I'll never get back. Two hours. <sighs> Library and a museum. and try to find the fish brooch in the museum case. Oh, it's like a riddle, an enigma. Got ya. What we got? A comb. Don't have much use for one of them. What's that? Number 15. A spearhead. It's a bit small, isn't it? Let's make some origami. It's just basically a room inside the library. Uh, because but the, um, the town of Alcester was founded by the Romans in 47 AD as a walled fort and the old Roman road still exists. It's now called the Saltway. Or maybe it was called the Saltway back then. I'm not really sure. Alcester also has the oldest Tudor house still being lived in in Warwickshire and it's also the home of a very famous person called Fluke Greville who was born on the 3rd of October 1554 and he died on the 30th of September in Warwick in 1628 and he's buried at St Mary's Church who was the administrator who served for the English Crown under Elizabeth I and James I he was the treasurer of the navy and the chancellor exchequer and he was granted Warwick Castle and he made some improvements while he was in charge but his death is very horrific he was stabbed but instead of going to a doctor like a normal person he filled the wound with pig's fat that went off and he got infected and then he died in agony seven days after he'd been stabbed fascinating an old meal it says at the bottom there, though, it's a mill, look. Got a nice big building. There's no water around, so you have to turn a wheel, which you'd need, wouldn't you? Oh, look at this. Oh, 
this is nice, sunny day. Heading down there, it's supposed to be reserved for nature. Basically, it's a nature reserve. And I can hear some pigeons up there trying to get it on. I need a bit of Barry White. I need some Barry White to get her in the mood. Oh. I said a mill on the sign, but I ain't seeing anything yet. Oh. I've got to get the train soon. It's going to take me two hours to walk back to the station. Jesus! Ah. Oh. Clean it up. That dog look cooking sausages. What are we gonna find? What way do I go? And oh, I'll be lucky if I see a kingfisher. I can go round in a circle. Let's go. Oh, well, this wall is. Maybe that's the old mill. Who's there? Hello? Let's keep going. Oh, isn't this nice? Should we go for a little splash? Actually, I better not. I don't want to have to walk miles with wet shoes. People up there as well. Let's quick zoom. go back down this way so that is it thank you for joining me in Alcester today oh, it's a lovely sunny day not a much to see we had a little bit of fun in the museum also had a look at the dovecot and what else have we learned Romans popularized skirts and sandals oh, yeah. just got to walk back now to the station so all that's left to say is Take care of yourselves, stay safe out there, look out for each other. Till the next one, cheery bye.